Okay, welcome back. And this this video is about our second uh, trade managing EA. It's called Complete Trade and Manager. And I I say this is Complete Trade Manager for a reason because this one it gives you uh, a lot of options and for you to freely manage your order. And also you need to realize that this EA does not submit trades, so it doesn't open trades. It only take care of the business after a trade is already open, whether it's by you manually or by another EA. Okay, it can be trades submitted by other EA if the other EA doesn't really have complex trade management feature. Okay, I'm just going to first open the trade here. Okay, let's. Uh, see, I have opened the chart EURUSD. As you can see, I do not have any trades for this pair. So I'm starting from fresh. Um, we'll get to those uh, variables later. We have so many um, options that we need to cover. But as so now you can see, nothing is happening. This EA is not submitting trades. And also, I don't have any trades here for it to manage. So now I'm going to create trades. For it to manage, let's just make a buy here. Okay, and uh, now, as you can see, what is happening? I have this buy, and then this EA obviously find it. It installed a take profit uh, here. It installed a stop loss here, and also have these two lines. What this EA possibly can do is first, if you want a stop loss. It will submit a stop loss based on three options. One is a fixed pip distance. The other one is based on um, the current eight average true range, because um, a lot of people, myself included, and believes the ATR actually it, ATR range is an indication of market volatility. Obviously, so um, it is actually more appropriate. To adjust your stop loss and take profit dynamically based on average true range instead of uh, just a static value. Okay, if you want to choose that option, we can do it. And also, um, um, ours, um, I, have, I have so many options, I don't even remember. Let's see. Stop. Oh, okay. And the third option we determine our stop, stop distance is based on your lot size and also the amount of risk you want to risk your account capital. Okay. And for take profit, we have, oh, and later on, this is our initial stop loss. And EA will also move your stop loss to break even if you make it, if you choose that choice and at a certain distance. And also, EA will managing the trailing stop based on two dynamic methods, and we're going to talk of that talk about that later. In terms of take profit, we have two ways of managing it. First of all, we have an initial take profit. That's the final take profit. We're going to take profit, and this prof take profit is also dynamically linked to stop loss. If you choose to do so, you can also choose a fixed pip take profit, obviously. And then notice these two lines. These two lines and give you option. We give you the option to at least close two partial. Uh, to close this trade partially twice before the final take profit. Okay, you can choose to only partially close once or twice, or then three times trade is completely closed. Or oh, or you can choose not to do it at all. And also after this this is attached after the partial take profit line is drawn, you can also freely to change that. I, I actually I accidentally dragged to the wrong point. I should just drag. I should just drag the middle point. You can freely drag this line to wherever you want to adjust the partial partial close target based on your needs. Because these partial close target right now is invisible to your broker. It's not hard to take profit as the final take profit is. 
Okay, and now see this trade this EA when you make it in a real trading, real forward trading, it does not submit trade. But in order for me to give you uh, some capacity to back testing, I have chosen to submit one initial trade when you do back testing. Now let's just going to um, open our back tester so uh, I can um, show you all the options. Okay. Now we have opened the back tester. We're using EURUSD. And now let's see what the option is. First, um, what kind of trades we want to manage? We, if you say manage all trade to be true, so all trade under the symbol will be managed. And for this, you have to be careful if you are using some other EAs. Okay. Most likely a EA have its own. Um, managing stop loss and take profit. If it doesn't, you want it to manage those trades. But it does. You don't want these two things to two EAs to manage same trade. Sometimes they could have a conflict. So you could if possible to just make this to false and have the EA to. Uh, to specifically manage trades from a different magic number. If this magic number to be zero, that will only manage manually open trades. Or if it's one, two, three, four, like, like it is right now, it's going to ma um, manage trades that's under this magic number. So um, let me just use all, true. And here, testing direction. I'm using sell here. Let's just say or buy. This is case sensitive. This is I will this EA will send out one trade at the opening of this EA if you are using back testing. If this is full forward testing, there's no trades open. Like we just we just showed now. So I'm just going to use buy. Okay. Then let's take a look at what initial stop loss option is. First of all, we have a stop loss method. And here there's a hint for the, what those methods mean. If method, if you choose is one, that means I'm using fixed stop loss. And this is the fixed stop loss distance here. Okay? And if method two is choosing ATR, that means I'm going to choose my stop loss based on the ATR value. And exactly what ATR you're talking about here is the ATR, is a 20 period ATR. You can freely change to something else like 14 period. So I am ch choosing 20 period ATR right now. And ATR ratio means what exactly my stop distance is compared to ATR. If ATR right now is 10 pips, if this ratio to be 2, then my stop loss distance is going to be 20 pips. Okay. And I, you can also put this to three. That means now I'm just going to put one because this is most easy to see. If this is three, that means this, the stop loss distance is actually based on the um, maximum amount of money you're, you wanted to risk. Okay. Because your your order is already open. It has a fixed lot size. Okay, let's say my order open is one lot. And now if I wanted to risk my account risk, if it's 0 0.01, that means it's 1%. Then the maximum amount I want to risk is $100 if, if my account balance is 10000 So for $100, and for a lot size of one lot, this is the maximum I'm willing to lose. And how many pips that is? For $100 on one lot, then that is 10 pips. That will determine our stop loss. So we have three dynamic methods to, to determine the initial stop loss. Okay. And after the initial, we have two ways of managing it. First, is break even. If this set to true, break even point is 25 pips, then after 25 pips, the stop loss is going to break even. Okay. Let's just 
I'm using fixed stop loss and I'm using 50. And then now it comes to trailing stop. And trailing stop I also have, see I have three options. If this step to zero, I'm not using trailing stop at all. Okay. And for the next, for the ne next example, I'm not going to use trailing stop. Okay, and then if this two set to one means trailing stop is a fixed distance of 25 pips. And we're going to modify them at every one pip interval. This is what six fixed means. If this set to two, then these will, will be just ignored because right now I'm setting my trailing stop method to be moving average. What does that mean? So this will set my trailing stop right at where a current chosen moving average is. Because a lot of times moving average is an excellent way to be used as trailing stop. So um, this is if you set trailing stop to be method 2, then you're going to uh, need to pay attention to these settings. And exactly what bar of trailing stop I wanted to use as my trailing stop. And here it gives you a shift. If I use one, that means the previous bar. If I use two, that means two bar go. If I use zero here, that means the current bar, the current real tick rating of moving average. So the above is all about stop loss.